So I've been away for about a week and it's been raining a lot since I've been away and the veggie patch has just gone absolutely ballistic. Look at these carrots, they're absolutely huge. I can't wait to see what they're like in the ground. I think these are ready. Hello the internet and welcome to another CNRL Library Innovation Studio Home Workshop where we show you how to grow your own veggie patch. Now today we're going to show you how to properly harvest carrots without accidentally snapping them under the ground, how to prepare them to be cooked and we've got a good recipe for you as well if you happen to have a glut of carrots. For this workshop all you're going to need is a spoon and something to put your carrots on when you've harvested them. For the recipe we'll show you what you need when we get to that. Okay. I'm just going to dig the dirt away a little bit. You hear people pulling carrots, but I don't want to pull this and end up ripping the top off or something silly like that. So let's just loosen up the soil around it a bit. If you feel some pressure, don't dig in, because again, you don't want to harm your carrot. Let's see what we've got. <gasps> we've got something quite big. I don't know if you can see that there. Look at the size of that. That's fatter than my thumb, that's for sure. I'm going to dig some of this away and bring the camera in. Now the smell from these are amazing, but if you've ever picked up a carrot in the grocery store and smelt it, probably wouldn't really have noticed much, but the smell coming off these is amazingly strong. Beautiful, beautiful smell of raw carrot. Oh. Oh. This one is a sort of golden yellowy orange colour. Nice. And these bits we can put in compost, or feed them to your chickens. Let's see what else we can get out. Oh, oh. what's this one? Beautiful reddy purple colour, fantastic. Hey, not bad, not bad. Look at that. It is long and straight, just like we were hoping for when we put the sand in, in one of our first Veggie Patch Science workshops. That is really good, I'm quite happy with that. What a haul. And only just in time, check this out. There's a snail going for my carrots as soon as I've picked them up. Excuse me, you are coming with me. You go eat something else somewhere else, cheeky. Have a go at that, why don't you? Okay, I've got my carrots and some other ingredients. I've got change out of my yarn clothes and clean my hands. And I'm here in the kitchen to show you how to make carrot and coriander soup. So for this recipe, you're going to need about a kilo of carrots. You're gonna need one large onion or two smaller ones, a couple of potatoes, some garlic, some coriander, some chives for later on. Once you've uh, served up, they can be quite nice on top. Some sour cream. And the equipment you're going to need is a nice large sharp knife and chopping board. You're going to need a large saucepan and spoon, and you're also going to need either a potato masher or a stick blender. Now I'll show you how to make vegetable stock very quickly. I like to make my own vegetable stock, it's pretty easy. Get a very large saucepan and just put odds and ends of vegetables in. I've got a corn cob here, which is where the corn already taken off because I ate it. I've got the tops and tails of carrots and beans in here. I've got some potatoes that didn't get eaten. Uh, I've even been a little bit naughty and I've got a bit of garlic in here that was too small for me to bother chopping up. And I've got some old zucchini and some old spring onions that just aren't good to eat anymore. And they're not gone mouldy, but you know, this doesn't look very good to eat. It's all gone dry and pretty horrible. So you just put that on the stove, fill it up with boiling water from the kettle and you simmer it for about an hour. Keep an eye on it because you don't want it to overboil. And after an hour, you have a lovely golden stock. Now this is gonna make great vegetable stock, but you can also put in bones from a roast or something like that if you want to make lamb stock or chicken stock or whatever kind of stock you wanna make. And when you're using this stock, just remember if a recipe asks for chicken stock or something like that, you need to keep in mind that if they're thinking of store-bought stock, store-bought stock has a lot of salt in it. Yours doesn't have any, so you might need to put a sprinkle of salt into whatever it is that you're going to make. First thing you need to do is to trim your carrots. So just get it by the stalk, chop off the top bit. Now this whole thing can either be fed to your chickens, it could go in your compost, or you can use it to make more vegetable stock later on. Okay, get your carrots, and we're going to dice them very finely. So what I'm gonna do is chop it in half down the middle and down the center, so I've got some easy to work with pieces like this. I'm gonna slice them finely like this. So I've got lots of strips of carrot, small as I can make them without causing myself any kind of danger. Then I'm going to take half and lay it flat, and the other half lay it flat, and I'm going to chop them into little matchsticks. There we go, and do the same with the other half. The reason you do that is to give it a stable base to chop with, you don't want it rolling around. 
And then with these, chop all the way down, so you've got lots of little pieces of diced carrot. That's gonna help them cook quickly and evenly, and when you come to use your potato masher or your blender, half the work's already done for you. It's gonna be a lot easier doing it with your knife than it's gonna be doing it later on. And you get a much better result as well. So you want really fine dice like this to all your carrots. Now these aren't quite all my carrots, I'm gonna do about a kilo of carrots in this. I've got the orange carrots and I've got the golden carrots, they'll work quite well in here. I've taken the purple carrots out, I think they'll look much nicer in a salad. They'll look quite spectacular in a salad or roasted perhaps. Because we're making soup, you don't need to bother about getting rid of all the little hairs on here or peeling it whatsoever. This has been grown in the ground, you know there's no bad chemicals on it whatsoever. Just give it a bit of a wash before you chop them up. Now do the same with the potatoes, we're going to dice those up. I'm not going to bother to peel them, I really don't see the point as long as they're nice and clean. A lot of the good vitamins are just behind the skin of a potato anyway. Yeah, look at that. Lovely. And now we're going to do the same with the onion, we're going to dice it quite finely. If you've seen my workshop before on zucchini, you'll know how I do onions. Slice off the top and then slice it down the middle, keeping the root intact. Peel off the skin, again this is all stuff that can go in your chicken's bowl, or go in a future veggie stock, or go in your compost bin. And then Taking care not to go all the way through. Cut down that direction and the root holds it all together. So when you come to do this, you're not gripping hard all the time, you're just holding it in place. And you end up just throwing the root away. That looks good, not bad. Chuck that in as well. So it's one large onion, I've got two smaller medium sized onions here so I'm doing two onions. Next up get your coriander, just trim the ends off. Now for this recipe when you're doing the cooking bit you can use the stalks, just chop them up really 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 fine. They have just as much good flavour in them as the leaves do and because they're going to be cooking with the soup they'll break down nicely. Now with the leftover coriander I'm going to keep some of it for later on. There we go. For this I'm going to chop up and put in the soup. You can chop the leaves quite roughly. Here's our soups looking pretty good. Just roughly mix all this together and add your stock until it reaches the level of where your carrots are. Now we want to bring this to boil at first so I've got it on full blast. Your cooker may vary so you might not want it on full blast just to do this. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to do the garlic. I'm going to chop up some garlic and put it in there as well. Keep an eye on that. And when it reaches the boil it's worth putting the lid on, that way you'll speed up this process quite a bit because none of the heat can escape. And although we've used about a litre of uh, vegetable stock in this recipe, we've actually generated quite a few scraps here. I've almost got enough to start a new stock again just from making this soup. And once it's bubbling nicely we're going to let this simmer for about 20 minutes. So we'll turn down the heat a little bit, give it a stir every five minutes or as it bubbles and keep an eye on the heat. We don't want to let this burn on the bottom. Okay, while that's simmering behind me, let's get the rest of the herbs ready for the final presentation in the bowls. Got some chives here. We're just going to chop these fairly finely, so maybe a centimetre or less long. Now for the coriander, what's best to do here now, this is going to be not cooked but actually put on top, is we're going to tear the leaves off. We're not going to actually keep the stalk this time. Again, this stalk, just like with all your other offcuts from the vegetables, can go into your chooks bowl, or it can go into a vegetable stock, or it can go into your compost. And if any of your leaves are a bit big, just rip them. Okay, after about 20 minutes this will have softened up nicely. As you can see the colour of the stock has taken on quite a lot of the orange from the carrot. But it's still very noticeably chunky and very noticeably a large separation between the liquid and the solid parts. And that is where either your potato masher or your blender is going to come in. Follow the instructions that you have in your stick blender, but generally speaking you want to be going down and up, down and up, and don't overwork your blender. Now that's not bad, I like mine done a little bit more, you can still see a few chunks of carrot in here, I like mine fairly well blended. If you like a bit more identifiable chunks in your soup this will be fine. Okay next get your sour cream, you put in a couple of big spoonfuls. There we go, then use your wooden spoon to stir that in. It'll look pretty shocking at first and then as it combines with the carrot soup it'll take on a beautiful colour. There we go, so for a kilo of carrots 
I've got about, oh, let's see how much sour cream, about 150 grams. And serve immediately. Sprinkle on some chives and a little bit of coriander, or you can put this to one side for people to serve themselves. And that's it. We hope you enjoyed pulling your carrots and seeing how great they turned out. And we hope you enjoyed this delicious carrot and coriander soup. We hope you enjoyed this gardening workshop. Please like, share and subscribe so you and others can join us on the next CNRL Library Innovation Studio online workshop. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all the usual places at Innovation Stew or hashtag Innovation Stew. And check the Home Workshops page on innovationstew.com.au for extra resources. See you next time and happy gardening. Maybe that's more to your liking. It's more to my liking. Whoop. And he's okay.